A five-year-old boy and his big sister saw a devastating tragedy and wanted to do something to help. Tonight, their incredible act of generosity is spreading across St. Louis. News Force Kim St. Ange is live in St. John sharing this story tonight. Kim. Steve, like so many of us, this five-year-old boy's family was heartbroken after learning about the shooting inside this Applebee's in St. John on Monday night. The restaurant tonight is now open for curbside service. And if you look on one of the benches, we've noticed several flowers and candles there as kind of this makeshift memorial for these victims. This boy and his sister hoping their gesture has a lasting impact for one of the victim's families. The plan was to stay outside for two hours, selling lemonade on the side of the road in St. Peter's. It was like we were a drive through service. It was nonstop. Olivia Boyer and her five year old brother Cooper never planned to keep any of the money. They wanted it to go to our Lydia Buford, the Kinlock volunteer firefighter who was among three women shot at this Applebee's in St. John Monday night. People got shot really bad and was in the hospital. Thanks to posts shared on social media about their lemonade stand, two hours turned into six. We had um, six officers come out, two ambulances, two fire trucks, another fire truck as we were leaving. One woman donated $100, didn't want any lemonade, and just thanked Olivia and her brother. And I just like broke down and cried. I didn't know how to feel. I was just stunned. I expected, you know, maybe 100 to $200 and we ended up with over a thousand. $1,132 to be exact. Olivia says people are still sending her money. So we called our Lydia's mom to share the good news. We just wanted to share with you um, how much money we raised from a lemonade stand in a six hour time frame. Oh, wow. We, Rebecca, um, we raised $1,132 for your daughter today. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Our hearts go out to you and your family, and we are praying for you every day. Some of the simplest things have the biggest impact. I never, never, never thought that this would turn into anything, and it ended up being the most empowering and um, uplifting feeling that I've ever felt in my life. And to cap things off, the Kinlock uh, Fire Protection District actually made Cooper an honorary firefighter tonight. So the family is hoping to meet up with our Lydia's mom as soon as possible to give all the money that maybe some of you actually donated earlier today. Our Lydia's mom tells me she is improving daily. Live in St. John, Kim St. Ange, News 4. I surely hope that we will be there.